What's up, Braves Country? It's Mick bringing you another episode of Braves Country News. Before we dive in, we have a few reminders for y'all. If you aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, drop a like and a comment, as well as let us know what you like or didn't like about the video. Maybe the most important reminder we throw at you is the following. Spring training games are only a few days away and opening day is only a couple weeks out. So go ahead and make sure you purchase your tickets from SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets. They give a score of 0 to 10 depending on how good your ticket is and letting you know if you get a good or bad deal. Green means good, red means bad. Plus, our viewers get $20 off their first ticket purchase with my code BCN. That's BCN on your first purchase of SeatGeek for $20 off. Link in the description below. Final reminder, guys, make sure you are following us on Twitter and Instagram at Braves Country News for updates on everything Braves related and awesome content to come. With that being said, we've also released a Braves podcast called Braves Country Radio, and it's available on Apple and Spotify, so go give it a listen now. With that being said, getting into the YouTube video is a segment from our podcast about the Marcel Zuna signing. You know it's a tad late, but we're trying to get the best content out on all platforms as quickly as possible. But yeah, so let's dive in. Um, as you may know, JD, Josh Donaldson, since we've last met, has signed with a, another team, the Minnesota Twins, four years, $92 million, with a couple of options, but we're not going to dive we into that. We don't need to that. talk about that. We don't need to, we need to move on from JD, because we've got a new member of the Atlanta Braves, oh, yes. a new cleanup hitter, Marcelo Zuna, the former man. of the Miami Marlins and the St. Louis Cardinals. He killed us in the postseason this year, but guess what? We don't have to worry about this that this year, because he's been on our side. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, so, Turner, want to tell us a little bit about the contract? Yeah, pretty much. He's taken pretty much the same kind of route JD has taken last year in free agency, kind of betting on himself to kind of improve his market value. Uh, he signed for one year, $18 million, which I know was a complete shock to pretty much everybody that he was taking a multi-year offer because that's what the reports were saying earlier in the off season, he was gonna take a three or four million, I mean not three or four million, three or four year deal and ended up settling on a one, one year deal worth 18 million. I mean, I'm sure the AAV was a lot higher in this deal than he got from any other deal. So that's why he wanted to take this one. I mean, he must've just learned from Josh Donaldson. I mean playing in Atlanta trying to restore your market value I mean that has a great deal for a player I mean Josh Donaldson being 34 years old signing a 92 million dollar guaranteed deal with a fifth year option going into his 30 39 year season if, if he's taking it like that sense then he's gonna he's gonna be great going off into his he's 28 29 now he's 29 29 years yeah, old 29. Yeah. so going into his year 30 season he's gonna be approaching hopefully what Josh Donaldson got in his market market value but I mean this is a great deal great deal for the Braves I mean Mark comes off the book next year uh, I mean we have, we have the chance to re-sign him obviously if we want if he if he wants, has a good deal I mean has a good year for us with that deal but it's a great deal I mean he's hitting fourth behind Freddie still gives Freddie protection in that lineup I mean that top four Acuna, Ozzy, Freddie and Ozuna I mean still the best in the National League East without a doubt hands down um, you can look at his best top four in the National League definitely can um, I mean, this just speaks miles. I mean, really shows that AA wasn't wasn't just gonna just lie down and die after Josh Donaldson left. He still wants to improve this team. Still wants to go. Still wants to go that championship route. So I mean, so Marcel had the three to four year offers on the table. We know that the Cincinnati Reds, correct? Yes. The yes. Cincinnati Reds were one of the teams offering multi year deals. But what we're thinking is that the AAV, AAV wasn't that high for those years, and so he wants to take this one year deal come back in the market next year and get the AAV with those extended years, go get his big contract next year after he's hopefully proven himself after he's had some bad luck this, you know, in his past years. Exactly. Yeah, uh, one thing AA mentioned today at Chop Fest was about how he wanted to get comfortable with a guy like he did with JD this past season. So he wasn't totally close about potentially bringing back Marcelo Zuna after this one year deal. And it's kind of funny because it's the same exact deal as Cole Hamels. Exactly. And a lot of people yeah, forget no that. It's the same exact deal. That. Yeah. So, oh, very interesting to see where that $36 million goes in the next offseason. We upgrade one area, and um, this is going to, this, I um, mean, you, you solidify two holes. You got, you already know that you're going to have an outfield. And left field, you're going to have Marcelo Zuna. And right field or center field, depending on what route AA goes, you're going to have Ryan. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the whole Marcel Zuna um, fit. Um, going to obviously back clean up. Um, I know some of y'all may be looking at the stats right now, his 243 um, oh, batting average. Yes. However, don't look, at the average. look at his in-depth stats. 
um, exit velocity, a lot of that stuff, hard hit balls. He got real, as Alex Othopoulos said today, he got really unlucky last season. He was hurt. We need to see a full season of him hurt. But that's exactly what happened with um, JD the season yep, before. Exactly. He only batted like 250 and only had eight home runs between like only like 50 games between yeah. Cleveland and Toronto. So he didn't play that much either, and he still demanded that amount of money, $23 million. So I think this is a great deal. It doesn't hurt us. That's going to do it for this episode of Braves Country News. Make sure you guys, once again, use the code SeatGeek on your first purchase. Get $20 off with code BCN. That's code BCN, Brace Country News. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, Brace Country News. Also, give us a listen on our new podcast, Braves Country Radio, available on Apple and Spotify. And as always, Braves Country, in AA, we trust.